Manchester Police Chief Nick Willard says that both officers are upbeat and in good spirits, and both were in court today as the man who allegedly shot them was scheduled to appear before a judge. The court was packed with Manchester police officers, but the defendant chose not to attend his arraignment. Ian McPherson sat downstairs at Manchester Circuit Court while his lawyer entered no plea to two counts of attempted capital murder, charges that accused McPherson of trying to kill officers Ryan Hardy and Matthew O'Connor last Friday. The family is going through a lot of emotions. Uh, their husbands go off to work uh, and they get that dreaded phone call that... Uh, their officer had been shot. Court records say Officer Hardy was the first to encounter McPherson, who fit the description of a robbery suspect. Authorities say he was shot near Ferry and Second Streets. O'Connor was allegedly shot a short time later around Putnam Street. Both officers Hardy and O'Connor came to court this morning. O'Connor on crutches after being shot in the leg and Hardy with a bandage on his face from one of two gunshot wounds he suffered. As soon as the officer's ready to come back and he's medically cleared, we're more than happy to have him back. I will say uh, both Officer Hardy and O'Connor can't wait to get back on the streets, uh, and that's just a great sign. Uh, they are amazing men. The court ordered McPherson held without bail. He faces a third charge of resisting arrest. McPherson's father spoke afterward and said he's there to support his son. From mental illness issues for a long, long time, hopefully he's going to get help with that. Um, and uh, we're, we're going to be there for him the whole time. Chief Willard says it's times like these that you realize how difficult and dangerous a job it is being a police officer, and he asked for privacy for the families of the two officers that were shot. Reporting live in Manchester, I'm Andy Hirschberger, WMUR News 9.